Hey everybody and welcome back to Super Paul Game Plays Game Development Tycoon. Last time we worked on our new game Fallout. So we're going to release it. We spent a ton of money and time on this. Maybe too much. I just love Fallout. So I was like, I gotta do this. It's our post-apocalyptic RPG. Yay, story quests went up. Dialogues went up. Level design went up. AI slightly went up. World design went up. Yeah, graphics. Yeah, dick sucker, I'm level six. Gage went up. Whoa, Dakota West went up. Design's up through the roof. So let's release it. Gage gets a raise. Good for you, Gage. Advanced cutscenes, mini games, rich backstory. Ooh, we want to. If this does well, we're going to do a new engine. Let's see. The Fallout reviews. Please be high. Please be high. Please be high. Because it's got to be at least a five, or we're going to. We might lose money on it anyway, but if it's less than a five, the publisher will be mad at us. Eight. Hey, that, I'll take it. Balance between technology and design. Nine. Great. Yeah, all games. That's right. Fallout is a great game. So let's get the sales going. Million? Not quite. Alright, so we're going to research the new graphics. That took like all our research points. Yep, a game made the required rating, so the publisher is like awesome. You can research. Is there anything for 10? Oh, I want to advance cutscenes. No. We'll do um, Dungeon. Hell yeah. Maybe we'll do our music game next then. I think that might be the way to go. We have reached more than 100,000 fans with this base. We can now pub self publish medium games. Maybe we will. Let's find a publishing deal. School? No. Music? Oh, I do want to do. I don't want to do simulation. Do I? No. We want to do a music casual game. Any topic, any genre? That's not bad, but. I think we want to try self publishing our own game. The day the Vietnam. Uh, Sega fans have waited a long time for has arrived as Sega has announced their next generation console, the Dreamcast. I had a friend who had one of those. Uh, company spokesperson said the Dreamcast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. The console sports powerful graphics, hardware, promising graphical equality rivaling those on high-end PCs. The Dreamcast is also the first console to ship Without a modem, or with a modem out of the box. I, I didn't know that. Making it ready for online play. The console will be available later next year. Derp. Okay. Alright, let's... Are we going to work on a new game engine? No. I'm going to wait one more time because we want more research points. Let's see how Fallout is doing. It's making money. Not as much as probably... Because it... it I put a ton of... Look at how much it costs. 2.9 million to make. I, I spent way too much making it for a PC mature game. But I wanted to. It's my passion project. So, while we're at it, let's start a new game. We're going to make it for everybody. We can make a medium game. Topic. We're going to make music. Casual. Um, well, PC has really got a lot of... Um, Platform. Uh, market share. We're going to pick our newest game engine. We'll go with the good graphics, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Boop. So we don't... Story quests don't matter. Because this is going to be... I didn't name the damn thing. It's game number 24. It was going to be like Guitar Hero. And if spe instead I just approved it, and apparently we can't rename it anywhere along the line. Great. Good job. We don't need a steering wheel or character progression. We'll have multiplayer and save game. Oh, I feel so stupid. Are you ready for game 24? Let's market it. Magazines, game 24 is coming out soon! Like, does it have a name? Probably not! You can train Dakota. Design, game design for pirates. I feel so stupid. 
Um, we really don't need dialogues or AI to speak of, so we don't need better AI. We don't need better dialogues. Don't see any reason for those. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Good job. We're going to spend all this money because I boned it up. Good job, Charles Dick Sucker right here. I don't even sit by them. I'm too good to sit by you dickheads. I sit back here planning games nobody wants to buy. Oh, yay, Fallout's making a profit finally. Half a mil. Man, we got a lot of fans. So let's see. Graphics, world design. We don't need much world design for a casual game. We do want the sound to be awesome. Um, Dakota can work on this. There we go. Game number 24. With a name like that, you've got to buy it. Maybe it's a good thing we're releasing it ourselves. Fallout sold 3 million units and had over 3.5 million in sales. That's not bad. I just spent so much money making it. Alright, we're getting a lot of research points. I really want those. So let's get those bugs out of the way. That'd be great, kids. A little more. A little more. A little more. Yeah, keep making the game better. Just get rid of that bug, please. I don't want to have to do patches if I can help it. All right, good deal. No! No, I hit the button! That was Dick Sucker's fault! Oh, You fucker. You Dick Sucker fucker. Damn it. Damn you, dude. Rage. So much rage. Hey, graphics went up. Woo, Luke is gonna get a raise. Dakota's gonna get a raise, too. I don't wanna pay you bastards more. Man, 62. Dakota gets hardly anything comparatively. Special training is available for Luke. Alright. What training? Boost? Ow. Oh. So, research. I want you to research advanced cutscenes. Luke, I want you to... Alright, let's see how game 24 did. I'm not holding my breath on this. Seven, yay! Music and casual is a good combination. Six, you like it, informed gamer? Yeah, I mean... Five, that's not so good. Don't be a four. Don't be seven, six, five, four, three, two. Well, six, shows potential? That's... What, you my mom all's games? Shows potential, you tried. Uh, so we're gonna research... Mini games? Oh. No, rich backstory. And you, we will have you research... Easter eggs, I guess? That's fun. And you can research a new topic. Horror. That would be cool. I want to do a horror RPG. They probably wouldn't go to good together, but that sounds cool. You could have, like, a murderer, and you could get better and better as time went on. There you go, everybody. We'll have a small booth. So let's do that. We're going to develop a new game. It's going to be for a mature audience. It's going to be... Where'd horror go? Horror? I want a horror RPG. We're going to do it for the PC, because that'll be a cheap development thing. We'll use our latest game image, uh, engine. I need to make a new engine. And what we'll call it... Um, I don't know. Dick Slasher? That sounds violent. Dick Slasher! Cut their dicks off. The more dicks, the more power you get. Um, so let's see. RPG. We definitely want to have a good story. You want to know... And character progression. Because you want to progress each time you cut a dick off. <laughs> totally. Uh, so, um... Am I the only one working on this? We'll train you. Train you on design. Um, we want AI companions. So we definitely want some AI. AI. Oops. Definitely want dialogue. Awesome dialogue. And we can take the level down a little bit. We want it to be really a story-driven horror RPG. That sounds like fun. Maybe I shouldn't have made it a small game, but... 
Analysts have observed a strange trend lately where players around the world seem to have developed a curious taste for unusual games. Well, this might be an unusual game, hopefully. One, as one player put it, sometimes you just want to play something unique. A game based on an idea that's not the usual military action or fantasy RPG, just to name two examples. I really hope companies bring some unique games to the market soon. I would definitely prefer them right now. That's what we're trying to do. It, the new trend promises to bring an interesting challenge to game developers. The top, topic slash genre combinations, which used to work well, will suddenly be less favorable, while more outlandish ideas might flourish. Let's see how our small booth does. It's going to be way less than when we were pushing Fallout. Dick Slasher, watch them slash the dick off. dicks off. Oh, that's not bad. That's a lot of people. 156,000. Alright, so, and we want to market some more. Let's do magazines and demos. Let's see. I want rich backstory. When you're getting your dick slashed, you really want to, you know, have a real rich backstory. And the sound can come down a little bit. Not too much, though, because you want the sound to be good in a horror game. So, yeah. Getting that hype up. Game 24! I can't believe Game 24 is selling. Game 24 is, might actually make us a million in profit. See? It would have been so much better with a name like Guitar Hero or something. Man, we got a shitload of hype on the horror RPG. Can we finish it? No bugs. The Dreamcast is out. Yay, good for them. I don't care. Yay! New topic, new combo. Trend match. Hey, it works with the trend. People are ready for the horror RPG where you can be the murderer and level up. You'll be like, what perk should I take? Dick explosion where I hit it and their dick explodes? Or eye explosion where I hit them and their eyes explode out of their heads? Sounds like a sweet ass game to me. So let's release Dick Slasher. First reviews of Dick Slasher are coming in right now. Wow. Yay, they like the dialogue. They love the story of being a man who runs around slashing dicks. An outstanding game. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, sometimes he's like, I love slashing dicks. Dick sucking studio, or dick sucking games does it again. Very good. Hell yeah. We get all the sales on this because we didn't, um, we didn't release it through anybody else. Game number 24 is off the market. We sold almost 2 million shares. So let's do some more research. Let's see, mini games. Can't we do that? Yes, I just clicked on it wrong. You need to be on vacation. Two months, the. I think that's the Genesis will be coming off the market. You can go on vacation. Engage. Why don't you take a vacation, buddy? While well, you're gone, because Dick Sucker. Charles Dick Sucker never leaves. He's the hardest working man you know. Multi genre? Oh man, I want to research that, but we're going to be out research points. Investment. Dear esteemed sir, madame, I am a financial advisor to CEO at Wambumobla Oil in Nigeria. I'm writing because I know of your high re repute and trustworthiness. Our CEO has authorized me to invest 2.5 million in dick sucking games. He spelled our name wrong. I think that's part of it. We have deposited the amount at a safe bank and will transfer this money to you, but the bank requires confirmation from you. If you wish to receive the funds, you must transfer a one-time verification payment of 120 grand. I trust in you. It's obviously a scam, but we got the money to waste. Let's make the scammer's life happy. He can buy his mom the house. I don't expect tax gullibility tax. <laughs> oh, hey, at least he's gonna be happy. He can live a good life. All right, so man, let's see how this is doing. It's made over a million already? So did the last one? Pretty good deal. I have no idea what we're gonna make next. I think we should work on, um, once everybody's back, we're gonna work on a new game engine. The Genesis is no longer supported. Dick Slash is off the market. Sold 200,000 units and made one and a half million in sales. All right, so um, get back here, dude. I want to build a new game engine. We want to go with the new graphics. Soundtrack, hell yeah. And stereo sound. We're going to have both. Advanced cutscenes. We don't probably need simple cutscenes then, do we? 
We have both. Video playback, hell yeah. I want Easter eggs and mini games and a day night psycho cycle. This is gonna be an expensive um game engine. Let me see, if we have advanced cutscenes, do we really need simple cutscenes? Should we be done with linear stories too? Oh I don't know. Um Let me think just a quick second. The rest of the stuff I really like. Do we finally say we're done with linear stories and just say we're going all out for branching stories? I think we're going to. And what about simple cutscenes, advanced cutscenes? We're just gonna go out with advanced cutscenes. We're just gonna, this is gonna be kick ass. If we wanna do the crappier stuff, we'll use the other engine. Yep, this is it. Come on, everybody, let's make a kick ass game engine. It appears that uh, recently a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. <laughs> scammers often claim to invest large sums of money into companies but require a sizable upfront payment to make the deal. We didn't do that. Those who are unwise enough to pay will not see their money again. Police are investigating but seem helpless to stop these international scammers. That's funny. Really don't know what we're going to do next for the next game though. I wonder when the PS2's coming out, or the Xbox. I wonder what they're gonna call the Xbox. The Y box? Get those research points going. Well, you guys are do that, I'm gonna train. I'm gonna train and, yeah. I mean, they can, they can do it without me. The market's normalized with no particular trends. There we go, I'm getting better at design. I need to get a lot better to get that boost thing. Yay, game engine number five is complete. So we should find a publishing deal. Oh, they're still making stuff for that? I thought they pulled that. Should we go way back to that? I don't know if they even have any, um, a vampire genre? We don't have any vampire games. Let's see if we can research one. New topic. Vampire, hell yeah? Ladies love vampires. Yep, Master V is going to be off the market in two months, so we're definitely not going to build anything for that. Hospital. We want to do a hospital one. Oh, we did a detective too recently. Superheroes, that sounds cool. Engage, you should research um, a multi genre, is what I wanted to do. Virtual pet. That'd be a good casual game. Maybe that's what we'll do next, is a virtual pet game. Completed vampire. Hospital superheroes, so much we can do. So let's uh, check out the publishing deals. I wanna build one for here. Oh, fashion, oh fuck that. Vampire, oh man though, that's gotta be a minimum score of eight. Dare we risk it? I don't think so. If we're gonna do a vampire one, we might as well just do it ourselves. So I wanna develop a new game. It's gonna be for kids. It's gonna be a small game. The topic's gonna to be, where's virtual pets? Um, what is, <laughs> I don't know, RPG? Cause you're kinda of like building them up? Simulation? Action? No, casual. That's what it'll be. Casual. We're gonna go back to this. It's still got a good marketing share. We'll use, um, we'll use the last game engine. Don't really need the newest one. So this will be, um, fuck duck. Yeah. You get a little duck or a little pet and you raise it. We'll use the nice new graphics though. So come on everybody, let's work on fuck duck. A casual game. So it doesn't really need any story. It's mostly just about silly gameplay. We don't need branching. Um, we don't need character. Well, you want character progression. I guess we need a little more for the engine so you can save the damn game. And um, ooh, the PS2. Today, Sony has announced the much anticipated successor to the popular PlayStation console. 
the play system, PlayStation 2 will have upgraded hardware to compete with the newer generation consoles like the Dreamcast. We'll use our new game engine on that. Unlike the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead focuses on the strengths of the previous PlayStation. A solid upgraded controller with vibration function, because ladies like when it vibrates. Upgraded graphic support, support for DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility with PlayStation 1 games. I wish they still would do the backwards compatibility. They don't do that enough. So marketing. We'll put this in magazines and demos, our fucked up casual game. Probably don't need any dialogue stuff or AI companions. I mean, it's just a casual game, so it's mostly just level design and just having fun. Yeah, everybody work on it. They're like, I want to make this the best game ever. Bye, Master V. Sounds like a rapper name. So we don't need, um... We do need... I want cool sound. We really don't need much of a world design. Because you're just taking care of a pet. So we don't need an open world or a rich backstory. I think that'll work. Maybe we'll take the graphics down a little bit. Because usually those aren't great. And I want to see... Maybe we shouldn't be making this. Maybe this is too small of a game. Dick Slasher did awesome for us. A million in profit. Kick ass. A lot of hype around fuck duck. Hell yeah. Um, we'll have a small booth at the convention. Ooh, the Dreamcast is sound really good. But people are really looking forward to the PlayStation 2. If PlayStation 2 can hold up to the hype when it's released, then uh, Sega could be in deep trouble. Let's get these bugs out and finish this. Alright, let's just... Oops. It'll work. Bonus! New combo! I probably should have waited until the uh, game convention happened. We're going to have nothing to pimp at the game convention at this rate. Well, hopefully kids love Fuck Duck. They can play it on their handheld device. <laughs> what are you playing, son? Fuck Duck, mommy! Let's release that game. Greg gets, or Gage gets a raise. He gets special trading, which we're not good enough. Surround sound? Oh. Let's see how Fuck Duck did. Quack! It's quacking good. No, be higher. Quackalicious? Come on, kids should love this shit. Shows potential? 666, it's the devil! Sign. They'll eat your soul. Fuck you, Fuck Duck. Hopefully we make a little money off of it, though. <laughs> PC juggernaut Microsoft has announced today that they will enter the console with their very own gaming box called the M-Box. Or the Xbox. First demonstration has been impressive, but we will have to wait to see how it fares against the popular Dreamcast, as well as against the recently announced and much-anticipated PlayStation 2. The new console is set to debut in the coming months. When's the PS2 going to be out? Come on, fuck duck. Yeah, it's out. So let's see if there are any publishers that want us to release anything for that. Startup, strategy, I don't care. I'm not worried about this. No, not the old one. Sci-fi, any genre? That sounds cool. I guess we're going to take this on ourselves. Um, actually, let's look at research. New topic. No, startups, no. Um, oh, actually, okay, we're gonna do that. We'll do startups. Fuck Duck. Oh, maybe this will help sales bounce for Duck. Fuck Duck? Not a lot of people seem to want to come see Fuck Duck. Okay, it's gone up a little bit. Later on, they're like, I gotta see this Fuck Duck game. We're getting some fans because of it. 170,000 people. Alright, so you're going to research. Ninja, that sounds cool. I want to make a Grand Theft Auto type game, though. Comedy? What's a comedy game? Something you get from Japan. Werewolf, that sounds kind of cool, too. So once these guys are all done, we're going to try and... Um, maybe it would be racing. A racing RPG? The PlayStation... Two has been a f phenomenal success. Stores everywhere are out of stock as manufacturing can barely keep up. I still have my original PS2 right here. I played the Grand Theft Auto LPs on it. Got that first day. My brother picked it up. Fans have 
resorted to buying the console on the internet auction sites for as much as five times the normal price. Well, Sony has managed to have the most successful launch in history. Sales of Dreamcast have plummeted. Comedy, Werewolf. Microsoft's announced the delay of their new game console. Uh, Xbox, a new release date is early next year. Rumor has it that the incredible success of the PlayStation 2 launch has prompt, prompted Microsoft to delay their own debut. Dakota West, boss, we should invest some money into our office equipment. We lose a lot of time working with our old PCs. All right, upgrade the PCs, buttfucks. If it makes you happy. Ooh, looking good. All right, we're gonna... Um, Dick suckers, see if we can research any new cool games. History games? Yeah, we might pass on that. So let's do a new game. It's going to be a mature game, medium game. Pick a topic. What would Grand Theft Auto be? It's some um, crime? Is there crime? Here, let's see if we can... Um, before we do that, let's, uh, because it really would be crime. Let's see if we can open up, um, like, see if that's even a possibility. Dear Dick Sucking Games, since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we've decided to use our name for greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year, where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. This will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You are welcome. Sorry, just a sec. Sorry. Um, you're welcome to join in at any time. There are no prices, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. G3 committee. Okay, so where's that? Um, I don't see it. Is it on him? Will it come out later? Maybe. Alright, let's see what else we can research. City? Uh, we'll save that for later. Fuck it, we're gonna just make our own Grand Theft Auto type game. So it'll be medium, it's mature. Um, what is it? It's not really on here. We're gonna have to pick something else then, I guess. I wanna make one of those still. So we're gonna do a detective one. We'll make it for everybody, I guess. No, we're gonna make it mature. We're gonna make it... An RPG. I really want to make something for that. We're going to make it a PC game. We're going to go with the newest game engine. We're going to call it Lucy Vagina. Fadge Detective. Yeah. Can I put a... There. Lucy Vagina. Fadge Detective. A detective RPG game. We're going to go with kick-ass graphics. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. How the fuck duck do? Oh, okay. Um, video playback. Advanced cutscenes. Branching story. So we gotta get the story up. And the engine up. Right? Whoa. Um, maybe we'll, um... You know what? I'm gonna figure out this next time. We'll finish this next time. So thanks for watching.